Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Tim Muhammad. Hey, we got to get right into this. Y'all see the topic. Well, all these churches is up in arms that the government want to come now and tax them. But let me read y'all some information on how the chickens have come home to roost. You know, you lay with a dog, you end up with what? Uh, you play with the devil, you end up a fool. But let's read something about how they got themselves in this situation. Because don't forget, all this, in my opinion, started with the Faith Based Initiative Act. Yeah, Faith Based Initiative Act that President Bush signed in 2001. And in 2001, make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button, y'all. Tim Muhammad. I really appreciate it. But in 2001, January 29th of 2001, he signed the executive order making it illegal for these churches to accept federal grant money and, and federal um, social services. By 2005, according to what I'm reading here, by 2005, all these religious organizations, mainly churches, they received $2.2 billion. Those churches by 2002, when that, by the time that act was enacted in 2001 by George Bush, in 2005, $2.2 billion was awarded to churches. Was your church on that list? Did your pastor get any of that church money? How about this? Did your church pastor dwindle down the money to his members so that they can have a better life? Tim Muhammad, y'all. Now let me read y'all something else. Just one more piece. Just one more piece. We're gonna go to a word of God. Check it out, y'all. I want I want y'all to listen to how twisted up and how ridiculous we have been led to think by our slave masters, our ex-slave masters. Check this out. The Christians do not believe in God as being a human being. Yet they believe in him as being the father of all human beings. They also refer to God as he, him, man, king, the ruler. They teach that God sees hears, talks, walks, stands, sits, rides, and flies, that he grieves or sorrow, and that he is interested in the affairs of human beings. They also teach that once upon a time he made the first man like himself in the image and likeness of himself, but yet they believe that he himself is not a man or a human. You see, you can probably, we are too old to believe in fair to still be believing in fairy tales. It was probably easy to get some fairy tale story like that over to a pack of ignorant slaves. Are y'all still being ignorant slaves? Come on, y'all. Listen, I told you, I did a video about it. I drove down a, a, a street in my neighborhood in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I think it was a 15 block radius or something maybe maybe more check out the video y'all 
but I counted almost 30 some churches. No, it was from 3rd and North to Charmin in uh uh no from 3rd in center to 41st in center. I counted like 16 or more churches. Pretty sure it was well over 16. They need to shut these churches down. All the churches that receive any of that federal money, they should be shut down. What is they doing for the people anyways? How many of y'all, if they shut down all of the churches, how many of y'all will find something better to do? The couple of y'all that's still going to these churches. Let's not talk about the mega churches. Most of them are filled with mega fools. What have they gotten themselves into? Like Brother Malcolm said, when he was Brother Malcolm, the chickens have come home to roost. Every church that got any of that federal money, they should be taxed. They not doing nothing for the community. It's a big mega church here in Milwaukee. I ain't going to say its name. But they own so much property, mainly down Hampton area, down Hampton Avenue. How many of their members have been fighting to not get evicted from the property that their church owned? That they've been going to this church for 20 some years. Their grandmother has been going to the church for 20 some years. And they use the people's money to invest in my property and then tax the people the same rate to live in the public properties and then kick their ass out like everybody else. 